Hi and welcome to my new flat. It's been a good while since I've made a video mostly because of work and moving. Although I feel like I've done an okay job of kind of recreating the vibe. I have been on Instagram quite a lot sharing life during lockdown, some baked goods, what I'm reading, things like that. But I thought as a fun video to come back to, I could talk about some books that I purchased during lockdown. All of these have come from my local bookshop where I can order online just by emailing them and then I can come pick them up safely. It's so weird filming this in a new space. I know this happens every time you move, but you become so at home in the little spot where you film and then suddenly it's all different. All right, let's start with the first book. This is Big Friendship. It is a non-fiction book that usually I probably would not have picked up, but it's written by the co-hosts of the Call Your Girlfriend podcast, which I've listened to for years, absolutely love. Then I heard that they'd written a book about friendship. They've been friends for over 10 years and it's kind of about the ups and downs of friendship. Um, this is them on the back. So I figured I should definitely pick it up. I'm not sure if I love the UK cover as much as the US one. It does kind of look like a statistics textbook potentially. Then some historical fiction. I recently kind of rediscovered that I absolutely love historical fiction and that that is a genre that I've been reading since I was a kid but because I don't really love reading about kings and queens and things like that I felt like historical fiction wasn't for me because you know a lot of the famous popular ones center around that. I'm re-embracing it. I made a big kind of to read list and added some of my favorites on Goodreads so you can check that out if you like in the description. So I bought this Sawbones. This is a YA book. I don't know if it's maybe like borderline middle grade. Set in London in 1792. It's related to medical science, digging up some graves. Perfect for me. It's by Katherine Johnson and comes with a great quote from Mallory Blackman on the cover. Then, kind of historical fiction with a twist. Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. Set during the Civil War, but add some zombies to the mix. It's about a school of combat for black girls, presumably to train to kill zombies. And that is where the main character of the book goes. So next up is J.Y. Yang's The Black Tides of Heaven, which is the first in a series. And this was recommended to me with the context of it talking about gender. Obviously, I have not read this yet, so I'm gonna go more into it once I have. There's a lot of power struggle, there is a rebellion, and when I picked this up at the bookshop, the bookseller said, this looks really cool actually. And then she recommended me another book by Jin Yong, Hero Born. I'll just, so I'll just throw that in there. Next up, very excited to share this, although I'm sure a lot of you have already seen it. It is this beautiful book of Greek myths written by friend and fellow booktuber Jean from Bookish Thoughts. This is absolutely gorgeous, illustrated by Katie Ponder, and it's all these gorgeous, gorgeous spreads talking you through Greek mythology. Definitely recommend you go and pick this up. Okay, final book on the list. Just realized I didn't buy this, but I got it from my friend Rosianna because it was a book that they were reading for Life's Library, which is an amazing book club that you should check out. Again, put it in the description. But the book is Blonde Roots by Bernadine Evaristo. Rosianna's actually talked about this book for like many, many years. So I was very pleased that she had a double copy. So this is what it's about. What if the history of the transatlantic slave trade had been reversed and Africans had enslaved Europeans? So I think it was first published in 2009. The wind outside is reaching Wuthering Heights levels. I have no idea how much of it you can hear. Thank you for watching. I will link all the books in the description as usual. I filmed a bunch of videos before I moved, so some of those will be popping up as well, including a moving vlog and a bookshelf tour. So there will be some swapping back and forth with locations, but I kind of wanted to, you know, film the first video in the new flat. Thank you for watching. I hope you're all keeping safe and I'll see you soon. Doei!